G'day guys and girls, welcome back. This video is going to be about New World. I was on Twitter having an interesting back and forth with a gentleman called board fan Gerud. Feel free to reach out and subscribe to him. We were having an interesting back and forth about vertical progress versus horizontal progress. And it seemed like he didn't understand and he asked me to do a video on it and so this is that video so what is horizontal progression versus vertical progression oh, let me bring up my whiteboard see if i can make it simple your basic vertical model is your world of warcraft style where you've got a base game, you buy that game, you level to 60, you max yourself out, then the next expansion comes and you progress another 10 levels, or whatever the case may be. So you max yourself to, say, 70, and that new expansion has four raids and four dungeons, but your old gear is useless. The 10 previous raids and the 10 previous dungeons are now redundant. Essentially, your world has shrunk. It's gotten smaller. Your world now has four raids and four dungeons. The horizontal model, the base game you buy, you level to level 60 or whatever the max level will be for that base game. The base game may have 10 raids and 10 dungeons. And then the next expansion you buy, the level cap has not been raised. They've added more content, another couple of areas you can explore, four more raids, four more dungeons, different gear variations, but your world has gotten bigger. You've now got 14 raids and 14 dungeons and you can mix and match the gear that you've got, which is your max level gear, with any newer max level gear. That's the horizontal model. And as each expansion comes out, your raids and your dungeons and the world itself gets bigger, not smaller. Now, both versions have their ups and downs. I myself prefer the horizontal model, where the world is getting bigger and bigger. What are the downfalls of that? Well, let's just assume that we've been playing this game with multiple expansions for 10 years. We probably end up with over 300 raids and 300 dungeons. That, within itself, can put some people off. What about the vertical model? Well, uh, after 10 years, you've probably got the same amount of expansions and your world has shrunk, but everyone skips the content. They will level up as fast as they can to level 120 or whatever the max level is, or maybe get boosters provided by the game. They will skip all your other dungeons and not experience them. So each has their ups and downs. A new player might join, see that the max level is 120 and get put off and not want to bother. A new player might join, see that the max level is 60, have the greatest experience leveling to 60, as that's the horizontal model. You make the best leveling experience ever, and then that's it, you're maxed. And each expansion after that makes the world bigger, but they might be overwhelmed with the choice of how many raids and dungeons and so on. Is there a way to have the best of both worlds? Well, this is where I'm going to discuss Axe. Imagine, if you will, you've got, in this case, New World, your game. Base level 60, and as each expansion comes out, the world grows. The level cap remains the same. The raids and dungeons increase all whilst telling an overarching story. And once that story gets to the end, regardless of how many expansions are required to tell that story, could be four, could be five, could be 10. That act comes to an end. So that horizontal progress ends and it's a self-contained act. And you unlock act two. Now act two could be another 60 levels. It might only be 10 more levels from 60 to 70. So you focus on that leveling experience once again from 60 to 70 or 60 to 120, whatever the level increase may be. You make that leveling experience just as friggin' grand as the initial leveling experience from act one. So that would be your base expansion, the vertical model for the expansion of act two. After that, it would revert to the horizontal model and each expansion will add more raids, add more dungeons, add more content as the world grows to tell Act 
2's overarching storyline. Once you get to the end of Act 2, you repeat the process. So this is how you could have the best of both worlds and not overwhelm someone with heaps of raids and dungeons at one level or a max level that you think you're not going to get to. Now the other option you could have too if you want to re-experience the dungeons in the previous acts or if the developers want to stop people from racing people through old content, old dungeons, when entering an old act, an old dungeon, you could have a level scale system. You might get a pop-up on the screen that reads, you are entering a dungeon from Act 1. We will be level scaling you down to level 60. And that would solve that, as well as allow you to re-experience the older content. So how would this look as a GUI in New World? Well, this is a mock-up that I've done showing you an Acts menu. You'd have Act 1, you'd have the map, and what is the sections of the map that you'd need to complete? You'd have different objectives. It could be six objectives like I've got here, or it could be ten. That's up to the developers and the story. Down the bottom, you'll see the information for the act would tell you the level cap, the max gear score cap, uh, the maximum level the weapon could be. And that was the other thing. Each act could increase the gear score or the maximum level for your weapons. Could also introduce new weapons at different acts. Act 2 would show that you haven't unlocked it yet. There might be a few extra acts there that are not available because they haven't been created yet. So you can see how this could work. And one final note is each act might be something that uh, you might have to buy, whereas the expansions per act might be free. That's something that is up to Amazon. Hopefully this has helped explain a little bit about vertical progression, horizontal progression, how they could coexist. Thanks for listening. I hope to see you in New World.